Hey, congratulations to you, Dan Faber, for winning the USTA Middle States Award. Middle States, Dan? What about the other states? I would say being inducted into the Middle States Hall of Fame is by far the most prestigious award that I could get. Well, education, as I stated earlier, has been a part of everything that I've done. And um, being an athlete, uh, loving sports, the fact that I've been able to combine those two things since I was little, now into my career at this point, is pretty amazing. When you can take a school principal and translate that into an NJTL and dealing with a local chapter as he did in Trenton for so many years, he understands how education is so important. Tennis is the hook. It's what's fun for these kids. But really to understand kids in the classroom and learning, that takes a whole nother skill set. And Dan's got a PhD in it. Dan made it important to him that our children ate healthy. So he started a healthy initiative with our children where they came in, they actually brought the children and the parents together so that they could take them to the supermarket, show them how to shop around the corners of the supermarkets and how to purchase good foods and not only how to purchase it but also how to make good foods. We were cleaning out a storage closet and uh, this was had the rackets in there, tennis balls, you know, all kinds of tennis gear. And you know, you think as ED, you know, he's the big, the big cheese. He's gonna let the staff do it. No, he jumps right in. He's moving rackets. He's moving balls. He's like, okay, let's organize this stuff here. Let's move this and that around. And you know, he was leading the charge. And you know, as a young up and comer in tennis, that's the kind of thing I want to learn from. Congratulations, Dan. One of the truly good guys. We're so proud of you. Keep on going, and we'll be here to support you every step of the way. Mwah. This is a historical park, and we were asking to go somewhat outside of the confines of the boundaries of where the current tennis courts. But when you looked at the tennis courts and you saw the kids playing, they deserved more. <laughs> You know, I can't believe I actually took that call from Dan Faber, first of all, um, because I remember specifically him saying he wanted to redo some courts that just need a little work. And Dan, I can't believe I kept listening to that. I remember Catwalder Park as um, it was a shining gem that had deteriorated over time to the point where the red clay courts there basically were not really usable. You know, we were fortunate. We were able to um, engage leaders within the USTA uh, that also lived in this community to help us do that. It was a lot bigger job than I thought in the beginning, but then once I knew about it, and I had lived right across the street in Yardley, so I knew of it, and I loved the vision that Dan had. I mean, it was done. I mean, I was like, whatever we need to do to do it. He really was a visionary for, um, for Cat Walter Park and what NJTL could be. Now we were ready to go to the next level. So we had a committee, a search committee, and we used a search firm, and we went about it very, you know, very businesslike. And at the end of that search, there was one person that stood out, and it was Dan Faber. It was like, honestly, it was like it was meant to be. Dan has really taken the USGA Foundation to another level. He is also a big idea thinker. I mean, Dan, worked with us to move NJTL over to the foundation, which was really a game changer for NJTL and the foundation. He's a people person. He loves people. You enjoy being around him. If you ever introduce him to someone, you're, you feel good about it because you know they're going to, going to enjoy him. He's able to go out and with his great personality and his diplomacy, uh, is able to really conquer any issues pretty quickly, pretty easily and make what we do seem so seamless. 
Dan, congratulations on this award. I couldn't think of anybody who is more deserving. You are, your heart is so big and you are so generous with your time and you work so hard um, for the USDA Foundation and for everything, every other thing that you do in life. So I'm so thrilled for you and you know I'm a big fan. I want to give uh, hats off to his wife and daughter because Dan travels a lot and I think you know having that support at home has helped the foundation as well as Dan. Really I have to thank my family and, and my wife and my daughter and, and, and everybody who's played a, a role in my life who just has never created a barrier for what I've wanted to do and, and that's why um, I'm here today of what I'm trying to accomplish.